All right, we investigated High Pool, and the Act Center is also an option. But I think our priority should probably go be to go to the Radio Tower because that's supposed to be where we get the the main quest of investigating Ace's murder. But also, it's supposed to be where the repeaters sh show up. So I need that to finish my business at High Pool. That seems like the, the next obvious thing. Oh, totally different direction. Interesting. So if I had immediately chosen to follow. If I had immediately clicked on the radio tower instead of going south, I wonder if they would even if I would have even have have gotten that message about those other locations. I don't know. Do I want to run? Let's just let's just run. I think we got enough. I, I think the, the, this game has enough combat in it. In the main missions that I, I don't feel like we necessarily need to sit here and fight random encounters all the time. All right, here we go. It's a radio tower. I guess that came out as a bit, bit of a surprise. So... When I, I went south... Did I even have a... I don't think I even had a reason to go south originally. I think I just wandered south at the beginning because there was a there was a road. And I'm like, I'll follow this road. Before realizing how the quick travel works. So... You could have gone to the radio tower before doing any of that. That also might explain why High Pool seemed oddly difficult. Although, frankly... We've all seen how my rolls were working out. So maybe... That was only difficult because I couldn't hit anything ever. Because apparently 70% hit chance means 5% hit chance. Maybe that luck stack is uh, more literal than they uh, they tell you. Made it. Citadel base, this is Echo 1. Echo 1. When you reach the area where Ace's body was found, give it a good going over. The folks that picked him up said it looked like he crawled there. Maybe you can find some tracks leading to where he was attacked. Copy? Copy. 10-4, Echo-1, and check in immediately with any new info. Those repeater units are a top priority. Ranger Command out. Alright, we have a mission, we've got a crew. Let's see what we can accomplish around here. As you look around the, at the sandy soil, you see crusty patches of blood. As I'd expect on a murder site. There's nothing to, to distinguish this stretch of desert scrub from any other stretch of desert scrub except for the blood. Man, I don't get shaken up easy, but this place is sending shivers down my spine. God damn it, Ace, why wouldn't you let me come with you? Wait, well, yeah, it's a little confirmation bias, right? It's gonna freak you out because you know you know someone died here. So I can go forward or right. Let's just let's hug the right wall. Oh, hello, corpses. This woman couldn't pay the raiders toll in scrap so she paid it in blood oh there's raiders up here that's dark this man's gut met the pointy end of a raider's bowie knife okay so these people are scumbags basically all right show us what you're capable of buddy no no attack is available there's a bad guy over there matching bullet wounds bisect this unfortunate wastelander's head the slug went in and out cleanly, so at least it was a quick death. Quick death. Go back the way you came and take the left path to pay the toll. So they expect you to pay a toll. I can't attack them? Ah. Can I pan? So these guys want you to play pay a toll, and they're guarding this whole side area. As a as a. Uh, as a ranger, it might be my duty to wipe out these kinds of guys, but maybe I should check out the main path for the moment. Or maybe I could potentially flank them or something? I wonder if they're attached or not. Uh, don't have to be an Indian to read these signs. Something terrible happened here. The trail of Ace's blood leads to a chain link enclosure. Rising from within it is a tall radio tower. It's rusted struts moaning in the ever-present wasteland wild wind. It's interesting that they wrote dialogue for Vulture being here. So they covered their, they covered all grounds. If you want to play in our backyard, you gotta pay. Fifteen scrap, or we'll break your faces. And my dog will eat your corpses. Mmm. Very intimidating. The desert rangers are looking for men like you. For a small fee. I can call in and introduce you to your boys a, and your boys to General Vargas. What's this one over here? Oh, smartass. Really? You do that? Man, this is great. It'll be so much easier to get people to pay our tolls once we have badges. 
Here, take this scrap. We'll head to the Citadel now. Let me mark my good think spot on your map. That's where I had the idea to set up here. <laughs> Another shrine location. Oh, do shrines give us an extra skill point like that one statue we saw in the other place? Alright, well that was easy enough. Are they all just going to clear out? I get the feeling that's not going to end well. I, I, I might have made a mistake for the rest of our party uh, back at home. Let's see. A plaque bolted to the chain link reads, Property of the Desert Rangers. Trespassers will be shot. A strange symbol has been stenciled over the notice. A peace sign that looks like a printed circuit. They're not happy to deal with me. Patches of black liquid are all around under the tower. Spattered among Ace's blood, like some kind of black and red abstract painting. This crate is stamped ammunition. Any any special notes? No. Nope. It just opens. All right. I'll let I'll let it distribute ammo accordingly. Um, looking at the tower, lower, lower stretch of the tower, you see bright scrapes and scratches on the rust. Reading them, you get say blah, blah, blah. too fast. I accidentally I shouldn't have clicked on that yet. Let's see here. How do I do this again? Damn it. Uh, oh, I have to click it again. There we go. Looking at the lower struts of the tower, you see bright scrapes and scratches amid the rust. Reading them, you guess that someone or something tried to climb it recently, but was dragged down it before they got very far. Splattering, splattered with blood, this console is connected to the radio tower's transmitter with a cobbled together collection of wires. Duct tape. Duct taped to one of the legs of the radio tower is pre-apocalypse transistor radio. Looks like somebody had patched it to, into the tower and set it to receive a particular frequency, but the patch wires have been severed. Someone with even more rudimentary tech skills could pro- with- oh, even the most rudimentary tech skills could probably re uh, re-splice those wires and hear that frequency. What a coincidence, we have a computer scientist and a mechanical person, so one of those things can probably fit the bill, right? Mechanical repair. Back off, Scary Sally. This is all me. Pronounce using mechanical repair. A small speaker chirps out a series of spasmodic beeps amidst the sea of static. Alright, well that's working. Do I need repeaters to make it work and actually amount to much of anything? Let me tell you Matthias' law, friends. Matthias' law is vengeance. And soon, Matthias' law will stretch all the way to Arizona and kill those so-called upholders of justice, the Desert Rangers. Feels like we're getting our first hints of the main story for, th right, like... 12 episodes in. <laughs> it's my fault. I could have come here right away. But it happens. Just trying to explore around a bit. What's going on here? The chain link fence blocks the path. I can't open it apparently. Oh. Is there a guy back there? Right, that's a guy that was like, Get out of here. We're all going to be dicks about it. I might just go attack them. Just get him out of here. Torn page from the ranger logbook. Only a few words are legible. This page is smeared with oil and dirt, but some of it is still legible. Well, we definitely want that. Yeah, that's definitely Ace's handwriting. I'd recognize the chicken scratches anywhere. Alright, well now we have important logbook information, which is one of the first things we were told to go find. We found a page of Ace's logbook. It mentions a snake squeezing cellar he fell in with on his way to the radio tower. General Vargas might want to hear about this. Do you have the radio... Ballad of Bobby and Rex. Logbook page. August 10th. Fell in with a snake squeeze and seller from Rail Nomad. Wanted ranger protection on his way to something that we can't read. Nice of him to share his water, but I wish the boring son of a would shut his would shut up. Alright, so we have someone who met him but was that saw him before he died. That could be a big deal. He didn't die quiet, at least. He went down fighting. Damn it, Ace. 
Where's this looping around to? Let's loop around a little bit. This room has a whole wall we haven't checked yet, which could have something to dig up, perhaps. What's this over here? Just a random dust devil, looks like. Looks like dead ends all around. Anything stashed down here? No such luck at the moment. But yeah, I might I might double up, double back and attack those guys if I get the opportunity. Just because it seems like they shouldn't be left to their own devices if they're being shitty bandits. We, our job is to clear out that kind of problem, I think. A severed plastic leg lies on the ground, leaking an oily black liquid from torn hoses, tangled and caught up on some rock half buried in the sand. The stuff has puddled half congealed beneath the leg, and a metal bone visible through the hard plastic points toward dark patches heading up to a nearby incline. A plastic leg? Are those the mechanical people? We also saw what seemed to be a mechanical person in the basement, in the, the secret underground area in High Pool. Is that the body? The leg is made of plastic and metal, scuffed and dented from hard use. The bandaged... The badly... and badly mangled at the severed knee joint. It looks like it was removed from the rest of the body by a shotgun blast. Vulture's cry said, That... leg seems very out of place. In this ravine. And in this world. Grab it. Artificial leg made of hard plastic and metal. Looks like it recently got on the bad side of a shotgun. Ooh, experience across the board. Oh, Sally just leveled up. Copy, Echo One. Echo One, congratulations, Echo One. Yay, Sally. We're all very happy for you. Alright. You're level five now. We already spent your perk. Yeah, we got hardened. So, we have three points to spend. The question is whether I want to spend them now or save them up. Do I level brute force or do I wait for more... I might want to wait for the ability to level up blunt weapons again. For better accuracy, because we don't have the best accuracy right now. I might let these points sit for the moment. That seems like a decent strategy. Scary Sally is healed for 104 constitution. Damn. Or is that just how much she has? That is, that is how much she has. Alright. She's a very durable character. What's that thing on the map? Cave entrance. So right over here is the entrance to some cave. If that's a separate zone, I might hold off on it for the moment. Okay, anything down here? I'm gonna take the moment to try the other path really quick before we check out the cave. That's probably where we're gonna find the transmitters, if I were to guess. Seems like a- oh, no, that's dead end, isn't it? Sure is. Oh, there's a whole other path down here. Or is that where the... Nope, this is not the chain link fence we saw before. Where's this gonna lead me to? I figure the cave probably leads us to Ace. It seems like the kind of place you'd put a dungeon in. Can I not go upstairs here? Nope. Oh, medical supplies. There we go. And blunt weapon nail board. Oh, wow. This place is more extensive than I was expecting it to be. Oh, it goes, it loops around. What's this other place over here? Is that another, it's another cave entrance. So it's just another spot that abruptly ends over there. Yep, there it is. We have two entrances to the cave now. If it's anything like the last underground place we went to, then one of them is going to be the main entrance and one of them is going to be like a weird side entrance. Can we open this? Uh, carefully examining the fence, Scary Sally finds a lock and an explosive trap. Well, let's deal with that. 100% chance? That's a... That's a good percentage, as it turns out. Alright. Now the lockpicking. 76%. It's our first ever lockpicking, you guys. Critical failure. You hear a snap and the lock refuses to respond to any further force. Looks like you jammed a good, Ferriman. Alright, fine. Beat it down. You want a job done right? Oh, Angela defaults into doing it. So looks like Angela has the same... Uh, brute force and hard ass skills as uh, Scary Sally. But I assume that she's a less permanent character to have in the party. Angela Death succeeded at using brute force. I get the thing that once you finish this mission, she might leave. But I'm not sure. Ammunition. And. Oh, lock. Work on that again. Try not to mess it up this time. 
Let's not have a critical failure on a 76% chance success this time, maybe. Really? You are screwing me, aren't you? Alright, well, you didn't critically fail, so we can still try it again, but... Man, these percentages in this game always seem to be overestimations. Ooh, a sniper rifle, another one, and more sniper ammo. These are all good things to find. Man, if I ever play this game again, I'm definitely coming here first and doing the other mission later. Oh my god, can I take the... Can I take the bandits out from here? They probably won't let me attack from here, right? They probably won't, won't let me trigger the fight? Nope. It would've been funny, though, to just start wiping them out from right here. Yeah, we're, we're up... We're up slope from where they want to be. Should I just wipe them out? They're right there. And they're shitty bandits. We'll just quick save real quick in case I have to restart. I kind of want to mess them up. Howdy, y'all. How you guys doing? You're not really phased that I'm here? Guys? Alright, I'm just gonna take your stuff real quick. Hope you don't mind. How y'all's doing? I'm behind your plate. Do they not care? Huh. They don't seem to care. I thought they were going to attack me for running through here, because they were all set up and clearly there's corpses everywhere. But I just wandered on in and they're like, eh. Can't even like inspect them or talk to them. Oh well. We'll just go check out the obvious cave entrance we've got right around the corner. And we'll see which one's the more mandatory one, but explore both anyway. Going down. Alright, here we are. Underground. Is the night dark and full of terrors? Is that a frog? I don't like it. I don't like it, and it's gonna die now. Bam! That was not very effective. Alright, what the hell are you- Is this a boss fight? Because it's alone. 72 hit points. Ow! Excuse me, sir. Do not appreciate your behavior right now. I could do some distance here. Go to the edge of where I can move to. And fire away. There we go. How's that for some damage? Now it's scary Sally's turn. Let's try one of those machine guns we haven't been, have been doing much with lately. That is a low chance of success. Which is disappointing to me, but I'm gonna take it- oh. You have a status effect on you, with an exclamation point? Does it say what that is? I don't think it says what it is. Here, let's try... Going into this screen. Dolores, use lock- yeah, there's nothing else to see here. Oops. Nothing else to see here, necessarily. I don't know what the exclamation point means. I'll just take the shot. That's... not the best. Firing firing wildly, Angela Death hits pretty much everything except for a toad. Alright, well, we're all very proud of you. She has an astonishingly low chance of hitting someone that's one box away from her. Oh, there must be a- there, there's probably like a minimum range for that weapon, huh? We'll cover a little bit of ground then. Alright, you can hit him, right? Yeah, you can probably hit him, right? I believe in you. Oh, lucky crit, I'll take it. And can you, Wait, are you already out of AP? You're already out of AP! Alright, well, we'll- We'll back off a bit. Trying to be the obvious target here. There we go, you're the one I was hoping to get, get the next turn. Big badass melee character, go! Nope. You wanna give that another shot real quick? Alrighty then. Thank you for trying, I guess. God, this cone. This attack cone is something special. Let's just back off, actually. This is such a full party, I don't need to be using the medic in straight on combat. She's gonna get wrecked. Alright, it's time for our other sniper. She'll also back off a bit. Alright, 71% chance of hitting, go. Is it dead? Oh, nope. Hanging on there just barely with its... Did it not have a turn? That was, that was weird. Well, it has one hit point. Do I want to blow... Oh, that's Angela Death. Oh, yeah. Yeah, use, use the assault rifle. Oh, it's jammed. Alright. Well, there goes that turn. I don't really want to use a shot, uh, sniper shot on them. 
Instead, I'll use my hammer that doesn't cost me any ammo. There we go. Oh wait, she's not using her weapon. My bad. 25 damage, all right. Hang on a second. It would appear I forgot to equip my plank. I was switching to the planks, right? I think. I think it had some kind of modifier. And I think I forgot to equip that. Yeah, the damage- I bought her a higher damage weapon and forgot to equip it on her. Well, that's fixed now, at least. At least, at least she's ready for that. Blunt weapon for Scary Sally. Barbed wire bat. That's the thing you started with, so that's not a big deal. Fly wings. Glittering with and gossamer. Too bad they smell like poop. Members only jacket. Not much remains of this cinnamon colored jacket beyond scraps of cloth. Miraculously, the name tag has survived years of abuse. This particular item belonged to a person known only as members only. I don't think that was their name. I believe that's a reference, because I've heard of members only jackets in real life. Uh, hmm. Toad eye stew is good eaten. Grab everything accordingly. Are we going to find repeaters in here? Because that's what we're looking for. A mechanical man is slumped against an oil spattered rock, its left leg severed at the hip. A perfect match for the foot and lower leg you found earlier. Angela Death said, Damn. Look at that thing. Looks like Ace gave as good as he got. Guess that's some consolation. Angela Death said, but where the fuck did it come from? Never seen a robot so advanced before. Not even Max was ha, was that tricked out. What's this on the ground? Repeaters? Uh, repeater unit times two. There we go. This is what killed him. This goddamn piece of... You open the steel case and find what General Vargas was looking for. Two repeater units and they seem to be in working order. Now all you have to do is get them to the radio tower and hook them up. Excuse me. I need a minute. I... I'm glad Ace killed this fucking thing, but... I wish I was still alive so I could make it suffer. Fuck. It's over here. A torn page from the Ranger logbook. Dirt has obscured all, all but a few words. It's gonna be some important context. Looks like the robot only got one page of Ace's logbook and it didn't say much. We should look around the area more. Could could be more clues. Was there something over here I saw? Whoa! Found the rail nom nomads camp. The map is drawn on rough paper and spattered with oil, but the lines are so precise they look like they were done by a machine. The southern half of the state is soaked and torn, but the top is legible. In addition to Ranger Citadel, it, it, a location to the north, Rail Nomad Camp is circled. We're getting a lot of new locations to investigate now. Lodged inside the chest cavity, you also notice a cylindrical object giving a faint blue glow. Might be a power source? It could take some advanced knowledge of elect electrical engineering, but you could probably retrieve it. Computer Science 61. Uh... I'm worried about a- I'm a little bit worried about a, uh, critical failure here. Let's give it a shot. Move over, this is my specialty. Don't fuck it up! Are you doing it? Did you get bored and stop? The Desert Ranger star has been crudely- Has been crudely spray painted on the side of the steel case. Come on, there's- there it is. Did I somehow cancel it last time? Might have. Go, go, go! Don't fuck it up! Nothing ever works. Why, game? Don't critically fail, don't critically fail, don't critically fail. Yeah! We get 18 energy cells and a synth part. A banged up memory core removed from a deactivated synth. Someone might be able to salvage some information from it. Alright. We have some important information to take back to Vargas. We also want to go back to, uh... Hypo when we get the chance, because I have two toasters to repair. I can receive... I can retrieve the stuff from the robot we saw there, too, and we need to re install the, uh... The repeater. But before we do that, we still have the other cave entrance to check out. 
Was not expecting a frog boss fight to be what happens here. Alright. Surprises happen. Heading on up. Back the way we came. Put melee out front. This seems to be the logical thing to do in this situation. There's something weird about having like brisk progress of like, yeah, one episode, just gonna blaze this whole area and, and probably leave right after. Just because of how long some of the other zones have taken. So I guess this is when I said that I was like expecting a short mission, like, oh yeah, short tutorial mission, then come back. This is pretty much it, probably. Like a, a thing that, te that teaches you the value of dialogue options, a thing that's a quick little fight in a cave, some interacting with the environment, and then, the, and then everything I grab here is like, go back to General Vargas now. So if I had come here first, this I would have gotten exactly what I was expecting. Is that a broken toaster? This toaster is needed repairs. Oh well, what a coincidence. I have this ability. Don't fuck it up. 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 Why does nothing work in my world? I'm gonna quick save again. I don't want her to break it. These seems these things seem unique to me. I don't think that there's stuff you just wanna casually throw away. Come on, man. 76%. This game is lying to me about percentages, or it doesn't understand how percentages work. Yeah, spray paint. A full can of white spray paint is a rare find. Who knows how it wound up inside a toaster? That's worth questioning. Yeah, I don't know how it would even fit in there. Is that the only thing here? Ooh. Admiring the statue fills your squad with a sense of purpose. Each mem member gets one skill point. The corpses of birds and mice in various stages of mutilation have been meticulously laid out. Limbs and half torsos placed with ritual precision in a complex pattern encircling this statue of a cat. Alright, got another level up statue, which is good because this character was waiting for the ability to get another point of blunt weapons, which is going to unlock... Wait. Whoopsie. Blunt weapons, which is going to unlock... Charge! Once I have the point for it anyway. But most importantly, yeah, a better chance to hit, because everyone needs a higher chance to hit right about now. No one's coming off particularly clean. You can level up something, like toaster repair? Is that what I want to do next, though? Computers- oh, that seems worthwhile. That's a unique skill for you. Want to level up computer science? It'd give us cyber scrounger. Also, just be better at computer science. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Seems reasonable. Just trying to make her the well-rounded character overall. You have two points. We could put another point to mechanical repair or demolitions or keep saving up for handguns. In your case, I think I want to save up for better combat stats. Our overall combat aptitudes are a bit of a disappointment, so I think I'd prefer to improve them across the board for the main combatants while continuing to focus on utility skills for our medic friend. I think we're done with this area, I just gotta walk my way back out. Oh right, I just realized I don't have to actually carry it back. We, we can just call Vargas from here. Echo One, go ahead. Got an update for me? Affirmative. Found the repeaters and the logbook. And a metal man. Uh, what? A dead robot. Looks like it killed Ace and stole the repeaters and logbook. Well, I'll be goddamned. We haven't seen any synthetics around for almost 15 years. We better get a closer look at the tech. Mirror Captain might be able to tell us where it came from. See if you can grab a piece of it and bring it back to Mirror Captain the next time you're at the Citadel. What is a synthetic? That is Mirror Captain's fancy word for smart robots. She calls them synthetic life forms or synths. Basically, any robot that can think for itself falls into the synth category. Plain old robots are dangerous enough. Ones that think for themselves are a nightmare. Message received and understood, General. You've already been to one of the spots I was planning to point you toward. High pool. Get your asses back there and stick one of those repeaters onto their crane transmitter. After that, head to Ag Center. Sending you the coordinates now. Copy? Can you tell me about Ag Center? Ag Center is due south of Ranger Citadel and very important to what we're trying to achieve. The researchers there are developing hardier plants and animals that will thrive in the harsh conditions of the waste. If it all pays off, we may see the day when nobody in Arizona goes hungry. 
Talk to Matt Forrestall about hooking up to their radio dish. Used to be one of us. Now he runs things down there. Matt's good people. He's also probably dead. Because that's... that's what they told us. Anything special about the dish? Used to be part of an old satellite relay system, from what Woodson tells me. Strongest transmitter in Arizona. Copy, General. On our way. Roger, Echo One. Raise your command out. Oh, wow. Like a hundred experience across the board for everyone. Copy, Echo One. Echo One. Congratulations, Echo One. Alright, well, two, two more characters went ahead and leveled up. Hello, sniper buddy. So, you have four points to spend. Level up that sniper skill. Look at this rank five, which unlocks focused shooter. Go ahead and take a look at what that is. I mostly just want better accuracy, but I'm curious what this ability is. Get down there. Oh, nope, nope, too far. Where is it? Oh, right, it's an, it's, a, it's an available skill. What am I doing? I made a mistake. I apologize. It's the very first one. I'm an idiot. All right. Many battles have left you hardened and more able to keep your composure when fighting up close. Minus 15% under pressure penalty. So I assume that means you get better accuracy at close range foes. Next up we have Mr. Akimbo. Yeah, more hand man, more handgun uh, points. 6% hit, 6% crit, those are great. The hit, the crit bonus in particular that he gets is pretty awesome. If I continue to crit, like he just he just is gonna be an all-around strong character. He already got he already gained access to zero last time, now he's gonna gain access to bandit. That's committed. So we got zero we already bought too. That's the the stacking crit. Bandit is you've gotten pretty good with small guns. Two percent chance attacks with handguns or submachine guns will not use any action points. Wow. That's a very small chance though. And I don't think it stacks with anything, unless Gunslinger's better. Might as well go check to see if Gunslinger adds on to that, maybe? Because 2%, it's a cool effect, but 2%'s really frustratingly slow. Uh, oh! And then Gunslinger doubles it to 4%. Still only a 1 in 25 chance of it happening, unless you have, uh, something that can modify the percentage. Next, that apparently unlocks Desperado, though. Desperado makes it 6%, which makes it, yeah, better. That takes it to... Okay, the math gets a little harder there. 1 in 12% chance, maybe? Ish. Something like that. Anyway, guys. We're gonna have to, definitely time to head back to Hypool to install what we found.